What you want to know? What What do you? What do I want to know? Or what do they want to know? What do they want to know? I don't know, bro. Just tell what's us what the, you drive. What's the question they're questioning? Tell us. That's what you drive, bro. Uh, I drive a F-150 Jump Edition. Jump Edition. Yeah. It's right behind me. What year is it, bro? Seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. What's your wheel and tire setup looking like? Just some uh, some wraps. Some wraps. <laughs> right. Nah. Some T thirty seven X's. For the six lug boys right. and some Accelera MT01s. So just got a little color change, did a little wrap on it. I think we were trying out a, this Vivid stuff whenever, like this was our first application with Vivid, so came out nice. Been on the truck for like going on eight months now, something right. like that. Uh, but yeah, just a pit vehicle. Pit vehicle. <laughs> and this is your daily? Yeah, daily. Hello, my name's Adrian. This is my C6 Corvette. It's an iron block, fully built engine from Thompson Motorsports. It's got some Conseys on it, the Rokus. It has an FDF angle kit. It's fast as hell. <laughs> what year is it? It's a 2006 base model, but it has factory ZR1 body kit on it. I bought it as a drag car. It came with uh, big drag radios on it. It has a 15 inch spindle conversion from LG Motorsports. I've slowly been trying to change it into a drift car because I work for Nate Hamilton and <laughs> I got hooked. <laughs> All drift cars here. Yeah, and then I have the FDF Mild Mantis kit. It's got a lot of angle. They don't have to spin out anymore. It comes up I forgot the, fucking <laughs> the hood comes up the other way. Uh, it's got long tubes, the whole exhaust. And then one of my favorite parts is your tail lights. Ooh. So these are clear tails done by me. Uh, I sell clear tail lights, so if you want any, let me know. <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of DEI products on it, which is really nice because uh, Will at DEI helped me out. And this thing gets really, really hot. So I have the floor tunnel shielding, coil pack shielding, makes the car a whole lot more doable to drive. And then I also have uh, Accelera 651 Sports. I got the extras on, so the 100 Treadbare. They are killer. So this thing comes stock with 19s, 12 inch wide wheels with 345, 30, 19s. Very big tire. I went down to an 18 and 10 and a half wide. And this car grips up better than it had with Mickey Thompson's. So, um, hey. Accelerators are, the si are sick. <laughs> Yeah, Those are big words. This thing also has uh, the BC DS series coilovers. Cody hooked me up with them. I got to custom valve, choose my spring rates and everything for it. Based off of everything I could come up with, that's the best setup I've had on a car ever in my whole entire life. I've had BCs on all my cars, but this car rides extremely well, so I love my BCs. Easy. Tell me what's going on with the whip. Well, first of all, tell me what it is, what year it is. Yeah, so I have a 2013 Scion FRS. Scion FRS, but that says Toyota. Yeah, I swapped it over. In a <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I did get it wrapped. I had a paint job on it that wasn't very good, so I wanted to keep the same two tone. Would you wrap it in, bro? Uh, we did the Nozotec uh, Super Gloss White. Like surprisingly, like the wrap, like it looks way better than the paint job I had on it. <laughs> so I'm pretty pumped on that. Thanks to Adrian and uh, Brandon, fixed up my fiberglass and stuff. Been through a lot, so it's all clean now, except the rear bumper. It kind of decided to go for a ride. Sick. Oh, yeah, we printed that off. 
off too. I'll try to be a little different with the, the roof. Uh, I used to have a livery on it. I kind of want to do another one. The final belt, but we'll see how that goes. What kind of wheels and tires are you running? Uh, the wheels are uh, the Grand Light 57 C6s. They're all bent and cracked. But <laughs> They don't balance well, but that's okay. The tires are super grippy. It's the Accelera 651 Sports. I mean, I daily drive it. A couple street hits sometimes. <laughs> and they still hold, hold tread and everything. So, really comfortable. I don't mind the, the leaks. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, man, it rips. So this is a supercharged? Yeah, it's a Vortec V3 supercharger. I mean, I beat on it every day, stock motor. Pretty Surprisingly, good. I haven't blown it up yet. <laughs> but it's got a lot of supporting mods too. So I have the Jackson Racing uh, oil cooler and radiator. A Mishimoto fan, Red filler, D3PE catch can. It does its job. The APR front bumper, a lot of people think it's just like a stock bumper with like a molded lip on it. But it's really an aftermarket fiberglass bumper. They don't make it anymore, so every time I destroy it, Brandon's got to fix it. I love the bumper, so. I mean, Brandon's just gonna have to keep <laughs> keep <laughs> it. Are these like OEM skirts or? Uh, kinda. It's a TRD upgrade. Oh, okay. So uh, same with the rear diffuser. Also, uh, I just like how it's not too crazy, but it still gives a little flair. Fender garnishes are also TRD. And I have the uh, Craft Square uh, mirrors. You know how much horsepower it has? Uh, yeah, it's 300 horsepower on nine pounds of boost on E85. So right now it does not hit nine pounds of boost, but <laughs> don't worry about that later. Well, what kind of angle kit do you have? Uh, it's a full PBM kit. So knuckles, everything. PBM. Yeah. I, like I said, I daily drive it and I really have never had any issues. I have been through one steering rack already, but it's, all right. <laughs> it's electric. I guess if you are with, you have an 86 and you're trying to get angle kit, uh, the PBM kit, um, it kind of trips out the ABS like if you have the sensor plugged in. So if you pull that sensor out, uh, that'll also cause you to have like a stiffer steering. So there's like an eBay like steering kit, that controller kit that you can tap into your steering like ECU and you can adjust like the like st how stiff it is or how loose it is. It's kind of just like dangling. But the RevWorks uh, unequal length header, it's fully catless. I just have like an eBay front pipe and then I have a TRD cat back exhaust. So. So we've done Adrian, we've done Brandon, and we've done Austin. Basically, all you gotta say is, uh, what do you drive? And give us like a little breakdown about it. All right, it's a 2015 Mitsubishi Lance Revolution. It's the one without the Ricardo seats, just a basic seat. Guy, it's just my daily driver, just a cob tune, full turbo back exhaust, about it, keep it simple. I drive it every day, school and bag work reliable it's been good been having it for about five years now and it's been strong uh, raise I already broke one of them Austin had to give me a spare yeah second week of having it broke the wheel <laughs> completely exploded do you mind if we hear it real yeah, quick let's do it. see what it sounds like Boom. Alright, Kaden. Alright, so we just talk about it? Yeah, you ready, okay. bro? Yeah, I'm ready. Tell us what you drive, buddy. Hi, boys and girls. I got a 2016 Mercedes Benz CLA 250. It's a four cylinder, two liter. Got a turbo on it. Nice. Only does like 208 horsepower. Uh, basically a cool looking mom car. Four door coupe, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> have a little door, I guess. Uh, they literally call this a coupe. I don't know. It's not a coupe. Some like, got some leather interior, you know what I'm saying? Sick. 
Harmon Harman Kardon speakers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How long have you had it? I've had it for three years. Um, pretty much paid it off already. Definitely gonna start doing stuff to it now. It's like all stock, literally nothing. Other than like the AMG packaging. So it's got like the AMG trim, AMG wheels. AMG fucking whatever the fuck that is. OEM plus. Yeah, OEM plus, man. For sure. Plus plus. <laughs> I think from here on, spacers. Put some BCs on it. Lower it a bit. Maybe add another turbo or something. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's pretty cool. much it, though, man. Tops out at, like, fucking 135. Pretty slow, honestly, but it's a lot of fun to drive in sport mode. Got the little paddle shifters, you know? Sick. That's pretty much it, though. Yeah? Yeah, that's that's the spiel. Boom. Boom. Come on, man. Good group of kids right there. It was cool to watch Caden talk about his car. Like, creatives talking about cars. He's getting into cars. Anyways. What we got going on next week? All right, next week, we're rewrapping the 240. We're going to wrap a trailer. Basically get into our 2023 branding. I think, like, keep it day in the life on the next vlog. We got, like, shirts to print, hats to press. A lot going on around the shop. Figured we'd just keep you guys up to date. Flow through, like, a day in the life.